65 kilometers northeast of Yaoundé, Cameroon, is ongoing construction works for the Nachtigal Dam on the San Aga River. The largest river in Cameroon, covering roughly one-third of the country by its basin. The project is developed by Nachtigal Hydro Power Company, NHPC, which is jointly owned by Electricité de France, EDF, owning 40% shareholding, the International Finance Corporation, IFC, owning 20%, the Republic of Cameroon owning 15%, Africa 50 owning 15%, and STOA Infra and Energy owning 10% shareholding. NHPC will develop the project under a build-operate transfer model for a period of 35 years, following which, the ownership will be transferred to the government of Cameroon. The total investment for this hydropower project is $1.4 billion where a quarter of the cost will be covered by NHPC's shareholders, according to their percentage stake in the project. Lenders will finance the rest, including the African Development Bank with $90 million. The IFC, the Republic of Cameroon, and EDF signed the final agreements for the construction of the project in November 2018. Welcome back! We hope you've been enjoying our content since we launched this channel, whether you're new to our channel or have been following along from the beginning. We've got a lot of interesting videos planned for you, so if you haven't already, ensure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell so as to stay tuned for more exciting updates on the channel. The construction works commenced in February 2019 and is expected to be completed by July 2024. As at the time of making this video, the project is said to be 70% complete and operations are expected to begin by the end of 2023. The project upon completion is expected to boost Cameroon's power generation capacity by 30% with a power production of 2,900 gigawatts per year, and reduce annual generation costs by $100 million. The plant is located in close proximity to the existing Lom Pangar Dam, which will be used to contain the flow of the San Aga River. The project employs 3,000 plus workers and recently recorded 12 million work hours without any serious worker-related injury. Now let's take a look at the Nachtigal Hydropower plant makeup. The Nachtigal Hydropower project includes construction of a 2 km long roller compacted concrete dam with a height of 14 meters. The reservoir of the dam will have a capacity of 27.8 million meters cubed and a surface of 4.21 meters square at normal operating level. A 3 km headrace line canal will transfer the water from the dam to the powerhouse at a maximum rate of 980 meters cubed per second. The powerhouse of the plant will be 142 meters long, 47 meters wide, and 36 meters high. It will be equipped with 760 megawatts turbines and water intake facilities to generate power. An 800 meters long tail race channel will return the water from the powerhouse into the Sanaga River. The project will also include a 4.5 secondary power plant downstream of the dam to produce electricity from the environmental flow. The construction of the Nachtigal hydropower project has been divided into four lots. The civil works, which include the dam construction, downstream works, penstocks, and hydromechanical equipment of downstream additions, installation of electromechanical equipment, construction of transmission lines, and construction of housing, which will serve as residence for staff in charge of the operating the plant once completed, located at Emina, Bachanga. Electricity produced from the Nachtigal Hydroelectric Power Plant will be sold to Energy of Cameroon, NEO. Cameroon's main electric utility company, under a 35-year power purchase agreement. 
A 225 kV substation and a 50.3 km long double circuit transmission line will be constructed to transfer the power generated to the NIAM-2 substation, which will connect to Southern Interconnected Grid SIG, which is the national grid. The SIG is managed by Energy of Cameroon NEO. The transmission line will be constructed by NHPC and handed over to the Government of Cameroon upon commissioning. It will be operated and governed by the National Electricity Transport Company, Sonatrol. The project site also consists of a public information center which is open to the general public to showcase the values embodied by this emblematic project. It is worth noting that Cameroon has the third largest hydroelectric potential in sub-Saharan Africa, and this is one of several plants tapping into this huge hydroelectric potential. Remember to like this video if you found it informative enough, tell us also in the comments section below what you think of such a project and also subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. While waiting for the timely completion of the Natchtigal plant, we handpicked this other video for you, do well to check it out.